Okay, this is my husband, Kent, and he's something of an expert on uh, positioning for retinal detachment surgery because he's had four of them, and he's had a lot of experience figuring out how to maintain the face-down posture that's required after you have the gas bubble inserted in retinal tear surgery. So now, Kent is going to show you what he's figured out for where he sits most comfortably during the day. Hello. Excuse me for being unsociable. As you know, your doctor says, stay face down. Do this all day, it hurts. Neck, back, it hurts. You get a table, you know, it's, it tends to hurt. <clears throat> After the first two, finally figured something out. So, you got your great little easy chair, right? The pillow helps keep you forward. However, when you're just like this, you're not staying down far enough. Finally figured out. It's a nice easy chair. Turn sideways. Uh, just lean yourself back. Works nice. Feels good. No strain on my back or neck. Just doing this. And I still got face down. And the only problem is, occasionally, one cheek will start to hurt. Yeah. Turn around. Go the other way. If you find out in bed isn't so much, you can always lay it back. Don't you lay back. But go down and just rest yourself down your arms. And my still face down, looking at the ground, not on my side, and it's still nice and comfortable. Good place for naps during the day, because still sleeping at night is a little bit of a problem. But for you men out there that are doing this, maybe one word of advice. Your wife's there with the remote. She changed her station. You can always try something simple. Honey, have I mentioned to you that I've just recently had eye surgery? Could you please put it back on my John Wayne and War Movies channel? Or for you women, the Chick Flick channel. And as for sleeping in bed, I can show you that on the next video. Thank you.